We're trying to get the houses that were damaged by the uh, ice dam and the flood, uh, resulting flood, uh, back up to livable conditions for the people that were, were affected by it. It started, it was coming up all, all day and all night. Once it came over the roads, there was no way out. The water was coming up so fast that we had to leave our homes here and get downtown because the water was so over the roads and everything. So we had to stay down there. We had to leave to Fairbanks on charters to get to get to safety. Ever since day one, we've been coming to our house every day. They used to just build fire, dry it out, so you know, no mold would get in there. That's what they used to do a long time ago, my mother-in-law said. This is a, uh, a remote area. It's difficult to get what we need here in a timely manner. Um, if you look down by the landing, there's a lot of material there. Our guys are fully employed right now, and we'll be fully employed for the next, uh, I would say, two or three weeks. FEMA uh, had the church volunteers come in. They, they volunteered their time to help out with this disaster. We started off on these houses, uh, leveling them up, uh, getting them squared up, and cleaning out some of the material that was left in the houses. Electrician went over quite a bit of trying to find out where the problems were and trying to rectify those. We got all new paneling, which looks great. I'm really proud of the people that are doing this for us. It's good to see smiley faces and healthful hands. I'll be happy when I get to move back in my own home.